Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. I have seen many videos going around on YouTube exploring the new Create a Sim via Story. And I personally am very excited for this new feature that we got. But I wanted to do something different because many people have made random sims, but I want to test and see how accurate these personality quizzes are. So I got my sim self here and I have chosen the traits that I think suit me best. And I have also written down some more traits that I would also think fit me, but not as good as these ones. So yeah, the aspiration that I chose is the Renaissance sim. This sim wants to be good at many things at once. I have many interests and I want to be good at everything and it has also to do with me being a perfectionist so I also gave myself the perfectionist trait. I'm a huge perfectionist and it's good sometimes but it's also very stressful sometimes. I want to do everything perfectly and it's very annoying but yeah those two go together I think they suit me best. I also have the loves the outdoors trait because I love the outdoors. I like hiking, I like nature, I like all the animals. I, I'm very passionate about it. And I gave myself the geek trait because I like gaming, obviously. And I read books, not as much as I used to, but I still read and when I read it's usually fantasy. It's my favorite genre and also for films I like fantasy and well. That kind of stuff. So I thought these traits and this aspiration suit me the best. Now other things that I think would also suit me are the creative trait, the vegetarian trait because I am a vegetarian, the good trait because I like to believe that I am a good person, <laughs> also the loner trait. I hate this trait in game but this description is very very accurate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I become tense around strangers and embarrassed by social rejection. Well, you get the gist. And animal lover also suits me best. Like, there's not a trait called animal lover, but there's cat lover and dog lover. So I made them into one called animal lover. So those traits would also be somewhat accurate if they ended up coming out of the personality test that we're gonna do. Some other aspirations that would fit me are friend of the animals, jungle explorer because I like the outdoors and love traveling, and outdoor enthusiast for the same reason. I also think master chef and painter extraordinaire would be okay because I like being creative and drawing and stuff and I like cooking so those would also fit me to some extent. Let's start creating a new sim via story. I will do the personality quiz as best as I can like according to me as a person and I have decided if there is a question that doesn't fit me as a person or if none of the answers to a question really apply to me I will request another question and skip the question that makes sense so let's start with an easy question what age am i i am 24 so i'm a young adult what do i know about about vampires we're not even gonna do that i've just met someone new to impress them i'll prank them try my best pickup line or brag about my collections none of them it's dinner time i'm getting hungry what's the plan <laughs> my body is a temple search Sims to gram for recipe and where's the closest buffet? Okay, so I like cooking and if I don't know what I want to eat, but it's almost time I will just go on the internet to look for good recipes and get the groceries and get started So search Sims to gram for recipes. The best stories have happy endings have unexpected plot twists or are written by me I like stories books with unexpected plot twists Okay, so we already got our aspiration. Hmm, interesting. How involved in a child's life would I want to be? I want to raise an all-star. Isn't that what nannies are for? Not in my agenda. No, not applicable. The best part of having an opinion is getting paid to have it, convincing others to share it, or telling everyone about it. Um, I have some opinions that I'm very vocal about, but then I generally am a person that keeps to myself, like I keep to myself a lot, I won't 
always tell my opinion just because I'm scared of what other people would think. So I'm, I'm not sure about this one. I think I'm gonna get a new question. Meditation is not for me. <laughs> not for me. When expressing myself artistically, I prefer to create something visual, practice music or create function over form. I would create something visual. Like I like drawing, I make videos. That's my thing. So how about sunlight? Too bright, it's the worst. Sunlight energizes me. It comes from a yellow dwarf star. Hmm. Both of these? Like, to a certain extent, sunlight energizes me. But if it gets too hot and too bright, it's the worst. My head starts aching because I squint. And it's just too hot in general. So I don't know about this one. It's time to hit the nightclub and... Dance the night away, scope out the DJ, or hang with my friends. I don't know what scope out the DJ is, but I don't think it applies to me either way. So I, I choose hang out with my friends. Where do I prefer to sleep? In a bed, in a race car, in a coffin? This is a weird question. In the evenings, I enjoy stargazing with telescopes, watching television, and plotting my next move. I hate television. Definitely not this one. And I don't have a telescope. Although I would enjoy that, so. What's the best kind of plot twist? Deus Ex Machina? I don't know what that means. The hero becomes the villain or delivery of poetic justice. Not for me. The internet is for inspiration, making money, llama memes. <laughs> um, I'm thinking inspiration or llama memes. I think for inspiration. If I could be remembered for one thing, what would it be? I like this one. Okay, so the all the art that I've made, my contribution to science for everything I collected. I'm gonna choose my contribution to science because I'm studying psychology and I really want to contribute to that, even though I may not go be going into research. My goal is to contribute to the world, to science, and yeah. So that one. When I'm around children, I feel, oh, that's so cute. Inspired, they're our future. Bored, we have nothing in common. Angry, they never shut up. Definitely inspired. I love children. The best food is grown yourself, caught hook, line and sinker, prepared by a chef. Grown yourself. When raising children, what values would I instill? Good manners, creativity or chaos? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I would do creativity or chaos because that's something like creativity is something I would instill but knowing myself it would just be one big chaos so I'm gonna choose this one all right this sim is nothing like me and she has no eyebrows this sim is a nerd brain who wants to be both book smart and handy and I am not handy and I don't necessarily want to be, so nope. Uh, creative. This one is a trait that I could assign myself, but it's not the one that my sim self has. So, hmm, yeah, but not really. And genius. Well, I could say I'm smart, but I'm definitely not a genius. No, just no. And erratic. <laughs> These sims can talk to themselves and have unpredictable emotions. I wouldn't consider myself erratic, to be honest. But, oh well. Okay, so when I showed this to my boyfriend later, he had to laugh so hard and told me it was so accurate, I'm starting to doubt myself as a person. Career, painter, that is so nice. Even though I wouldn't, like, in real life choose this career, I do understand where this comes from, because I... I'm a creative person and I filled in some questions that have to do with creativity. Skill charisma. This is so inaccurate. I don't have any charisma skill in real life. This is just not my thing. I don't know how to talk to people. <laughs> Gardening skill. I like this one. I, I don't garden because I simply just don't have a garden. But I would really love to have a garden if I ever have a garden in my home i will grow plants and my own food i would th that's something i would love to do starting funds high 
Living the good life, consider pampering yourself with all your extra simoleons. Hmm. This is not very accurate either. I'm just a student and no, I don't have a lot of money. So this, nope. Okay, so what can we conclude from this little adventure over here? I think we can conclude from this one trial that create a sim via story is not very accurate. But does that matter? No, I don't think so, because I think it's a great tool to come up with stories if you don't really know what you want to play with, what you want to do, or you can't think of a backstory. I think this is a great way to get ideas and maybe also do gameplay that you normally won't do. Like if you normally play with families and good sims and stuff, it would be interesting if you got like um, a criminal sim. Or maybe if you never play with occult sims and you get a vampire, you know, that kind of stuff. That, that would be interesting, I think. I'm thinking whether I want to do another one. You know, use other questions, fill in other questions and see if it works better. Okay, so we're gonna do another one. And I want to answer only questions that I haven't answered in the last one. Open mic at... Open mic night at the bar. I'm up tell my best jokes, slapstick comedy, show of my musical talent. None of them because I have stage fright. Uh, the big game is tonight. I don't care for sports. I'm not the team captain. I don't go to the bar. I don't care for sports at all. A co-worker messed yeah. up. Now our boss is mad. What do I do? Blame them, cover for them, quit. I don't need this stress. I would cover for them to be honest. The song I like came on the radio, crank it up, sing along, quietly enjoy it. I only listen to the radio in the car, and it's usually when other people are driving, and I'm too scared to ask if the volume can go up or sing along, so I would just quietly enjoy it. What's for dinner? Veggies, a three course meal, or who cares meeting alone? Veggies. Guests are coming over, how do I prepare? Clean and fix everything, cook lots of food, and make a rocking playlist. When guests are coming over, I would cook a lot of food. Yeah. My interest in politics is measured by medieval serial dramas. Speaking truth to power or non-existent. It's non-existent. Everything I know about politics is because I find that I need to know what's going on, but I am not interested in it. I think politics is just... Yeah, no. <laughs> What do I grow in my garden? Fruits and veg fruits and vegetables, flowers or weeds, fruits and vegetables. If I would have a garden, I would grow that in my garden. When expressing myself artistically, I did this one last time. How do I act around groups of people? I ensure everyone's happy, I clam up or I take charge. I clam up, definitely. Flowers look best when they're blooming in my garden in a beautiful arrangement or dead during winter. <laughs> um, I'm not necessarily a big fan of flowers, to be honest. New question. What kind of... I, I mean, I like flowers, but not to that extent that I think one of those answers applied to me. What kind of group do I want to be part of? The kind of better society? Me and my imaginary friends? I lead, others follow. I want to be part of a group that better society. In my free time, I like to curl up with a book, play video games, hit the gym. Oh no, I won't be able to choose between these ones. Curl up with a book or play video games. I like to do both just as much, but currently I play video games more than I read books. So I think I have to choose this one. There we are. Oh my god. So, this sim got a freelance botanist and wants to become an expert gardener. Okay, I wouldn't choose this one myself, but I don't think it's a bad one. It does suit me somewhat, but just not so much. Unflirty. I didn't even think about this one, but this actually does apply to me. I do get seriously very tense around flirty people, so let's let's consider this one accurate. I'd like to believe I'm a good sim as well. So yeah, this is accurate and the loner trait as well. Okay, so these three, even though this one is unexpected, I do think they're accurate. These one a bit more than that one, but still. Career. Critic. I don't think I would ever want to be 
a critic. I am very critical, for real. I am very yeah. critical, but I am not necessarily sharing that with the public. So, not really, but there is like some truth in it. Video gaming skill. Yes, I do play video games, so that one is accurate. And a cooking skill, definitely. I wouldn't say I'm a very good cook, but I can cook decently and I really like it. So that one is um, accurate. And then starting funds are standard. Modest living is always available until you accomplish more in life, which I think is also accurate. All right, so we had two tries in trying to recreate my sim self's personality through sim story. Did we succeed? Mm, maybe not as much. The second try definitely was better than the first try. Maybe because I think I skipped a lot of questions that didn't apply to me and I filled in questions that I find are more personal to me. So I think that helped a lot, like getting the right questions. Okay, so my conclusion for now. Create a sim via story can be accurate if you get the right questions. If you don't get the right questions, which, which can always happen, you can always skip, of course, to get other questions. But if you wouldn't skip as much and you just, you know, answered all the questions that you got randomly and they are not very applicable to you as a person or to the sim that you want to create, I don't think you will get anywhere near the truth or the traits that you want to get. But if you choose the right questions, I think it's all right. I think you can create personality how you want or recreate a personality of someone you know in real life. So yeah, I think this was very interesting to do and I really enjoy this way of creating sims. I might do it more often in the future. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you thought it was somewhat informative and interesting. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!